Actual scenario number one. Years ago, a patient of mine who, when originally diagnosed with cancer, had 24 positive lymph nodes. So when two years later she developed crushing neck pain and headaches, her cancer team rightfully went into panic mode and did every test in the book, blood tests, x-rays, MRI, to see if it was cancer. And thankfully, all scans were negative. The doc says, congrats, you don't have cancer. See you in six months. And she says, yay, goes home and realizes she still has nasty neck pain and crushing headaches that won't go away. Actual scenario number two. Because he developed excruciating shoulder pain clearly during his radiation therapy to his chest, because every visit would make his shoulder pain skyrocket, a gentleman is convinced the radiation is causing his shoulder pain. His doctor basically said, no, your shoulder joint is not in the radiation field, so it's not the radiation. Weeks later, the guy is still in radiation, says, my shoulder still hurts. It's got to be the radiation. Doc still says, it's not from the radiation. Key point, shoulder still hurts. Common scenario number three, you fall, hurt something, or just develop pain. X-rays are negative. Everyone is happy. Nothing is broken. But then nothing else happens and you're still in pain. Welcome to the recovery room. I'm cancer PT specialist, Dr. Leslie Waltke. As a physical therapist, I see scenarios like this all the time. A paper published several years ago by the American Society of Clinical Oncology reports that up to 40% of cancer survivors are living with pain. That's really high. So in this episode of The Recovery Room, we are talking about pain during and after treatment and some important points to ponder. Hey there, Dr. Leslie here, sorry to interrupt. Yet I so appreciate you following The Recovery Room, I wanna share a really wonderful opportunity with you. And that is Recovery Room Plus. Recovery Room Plus is a cancer survivor subscription group I run in which you get direct interaction with me, direct connection to other really amazing cancer survivors, and in-depth expert videos on all things cancer and cancer recovery. We also do live wellness events like member meets, yoga, cooking demos, writing workshops, goal workshops, exercise, book discussions, and much more. A Recovery Room Plus membership is less than $25 a month and you can stay as long or as short as you'd like. Learn more at recoveryroomplus.com. I'd be honored if you would join me. Now back to your video. Point to ponder number one. Pain during and after a cancer diagnosis may be common, but that doesn't mean that's the way it's supposed to be. Just because you've had cancer doesn't mean you're supposed to be miserable long term. So as a cancer patient or survivor, ditch the automatic expectation that you are supposed to be miserable. Point number two, pain matters. I know a lot of you have just learned to live with it, and in some instances, you may not have a choice, but that is rare. If you don't have to, we don't want you to just live with it. Pain, even if mild, contributes to fatigue, depresses your mood, and it increases anxiety. Pain can be a reminder that you have cancer or have had cancer, and it can contribute to the fear that something new is wrong. Having pain can decrease your overall activity level, your function level, and limit your activity tolerance, your work tolerance, and decrease your quality of life. So no, we don't want you to live with any pain. You don't have to. Point number three. Cancer doctors and nurses are some of the most awesome, spectacular people on the planet, but they are also very over busy and solely focused on cancer. So if your issue is not solely cancer focused, they may not have the expertise or time to spend on it. If you are having pain and feel like it's not being adequately addressed, Start by talking or re-talking with whatever doctor or nurse is associated with whatever you think is causing it. If that avenue feels exhausted, talk next with your primary care doctor. Another great suggestion is to see your physical therapist or ask for a referral to a physical therapist. PTs are experts in pain and can take a look and give you suggestions on what to do next or who to see next. As it turns out in scenario number one, in the woman with the crushing neck pain and headaches, she had had a change of her workstation that gave her a nasty neck strain that then led to her nasty headaches. 
We made recommendations to her to change her workstation, treated her neck, and voila, neck pain and headaches went away. In scenario number two, this gentleman was so convinced the radiation caused his shoulder pain that he flew all the way across the country just to see me. Turns out he had a severe tendonitis in his rotator cuff, not caused by the radiation, but caused by having to hold his arms over his head day after day, week after week for the radiation position. We sent him home to his hometown physical therapist to treat his shoulder. Studies have shown that cancer providers often underaddress pain. And studies also show that patients often underreport their pain. This is a bad pattern we need to break. So if you are hurting, bring it up. As I frequently say to my patients, we can't help fix what you don't complain about. So complain away. I'm Dr. Leslie Welke signing out from the recovery room. If you haven't yet, please hit the follow or subscribe button on the recovery room page and please share our videos with fellow survivors, groups, and your cancer teams. Let's talk again soon.